So this is the Galaxy S8. Let's go ahead and encase it in a tomb of ice. See if it can survive for, I don't even know how long, five to 10 hours in here. So this is a ultra low freezer capable of negative 35. So, this is already broken. Alright, I just wanted to get it in here to slip in. But, is the water getting to it already? Okay, there we go. Alright, slip it in here. Put it right in the middle there. And uh, we're going to leave it to freeze. I'm actually going to fill the top with water here. What? That's not okay. Alright. Okay, iPhone will join it in its shallowy grave here. This is actually like a medical freezer, so it's meant for storing vaccines and the such. But we're going to vaccinate these phones. All right, peace. So let's leave this for a good five to 10 hours and when we come back, we'll see what happens. So it's a negative 22 right now, but capable of negative 35. Has to be closed for a while for that to be achieved, but take a look at these warnings. Man, it's pretty scary stuff. Chemical, biological material storage, caused damage, severe damage to unprotected skin. Boy, better be careful here. It even has a lock. All right, we'll be back in a little. All right, so it's been what, like four or five hours? Uh, I just got a shower from the river oh my gosh that was disgusting <laughs> but let's go and check out the progress of that so this little guy will be following us well i'm taking him with me all right here we are so at a steady temperature of negative 24 celsius this is what we got after like four hours oh that's heavy wow Oh my goodness, you can see like in there that the Galaxy is alive, struggling. The iPhone has no such sign, but this is crazy. Let's go outside. So like, I see a little bit of liquid inside. I mean, these have been in sub-zero temperatures for the longest time. And I still see that the Galaxy is working. I wonder if the always on display. Oh, it is, it is working. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. So the Galaxy and iPhone, are still alive surprisingly wow galaxy display is working <laughs> okay so they have survived let's get in there and see after being submerged in water until it turned to ice if uh, it left any lasting damage getting this out of here is going to be the challenge though got to loosen this up here melt it Alright, let's try and get this out of here. It's already melting. Ah, oh, that's not gonna really work. Oh. oh, got it. That actually worked. I did not think that would help that much. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is quite the amount of ice. Check that out. We got layers in there, the phones are frozen. <laughs> we got water dripping out. All right, take a thumbnail. All right, let's get into them. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work too well. Just to show you how much ice there is here. Ah, okay, there is still a lot of water. Didn't fully freeze, 
I'd say a good couple inches around though. Should be a little better. Oh. Oh man, there goes all the water from it. Um, you know, I'm just gonna drop this thing. There we go, that's better. Okay, so, look at that. Oh my goodness, this thing has been through quite a bit. And for the always on display to keep working is a good sign here. Oh my goodness, this is not gonna be easy. Um, I just don't want it to like bounce and scratch the other side. I feel like I'm breaking this out of a stone or something, like a fossil. Oh, it is working a little bit, I think. Home button still works, so that is pretty cool. Wow, <laughs> iPhone encased in ice. So even though this guy didn't survive the water test, the uh, larger plus model, this one was submerged in water, you know, it wasn't much like six inches, uh, but for five hours was frozen in that water and still works. So this is actually not that bad of a case. It's pretty comfortable, a bit slippery, must say, but kind of interesting. So uh, there we go. Okay, so there's that product red. Beautiful. It's flawless. It works. Home button works. Really nothing bad to say here. Let's check out the Galaxy though. So. Oh, there we go. And here is the Galaxy. So, um, can't see any water signs in the camera, which is a good sign. The whole port is full of ice here, but otherwise, man, not bad, not bad. So both phones did survive full submersion in water and ice. So for this test, this has to be a draw. So far, one versus one and a draw on the S8 and the iPhone 7. So guys, can you put your device into a really ultra low temperature freezer and have a survive after? Yep, absolutely. Feel free to, in fact. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Stay tuned for more. Peace.